Hey everybody, this is Bieber, and today we're going to talk about Ahmaud Aubrey, this young man that was tragically killed in Georgia on February 23rd. Mr. Aubrey was just doing a normal, simple, should be simple thing. He was taking a jog through his neighborhood, which is something he does very often. But unfortunately, this day was different. On this day, he ran across Gregory McMichael and Travis McMichael of Glen County. See, initially, Gregory McMichael had told the police he thought Mr. Avery looked like a man suspected in several break-ins in the area. But the truth of the matter is, is there was only one burglary reported in the neighborhood since January, and it was the theft of a gun out of an unlocked car of the son, Travis McMichael. So what do these upstanding citizens do? They go and grab their guns and go track Mr. Aubrey down while waiting on police. But they didn't wait on police. They pursued this man. Even when he tried to run around the vehicle, they cornered him. We have to talk to you. If anybody approaches me with a gun for any reason, I'm not going to talk to them. Your natural response is to fight or flight. And he fought because he couldn't escape. Why would he try to run away? So they could shoot him in the back? He has no clue what these overzealous idiots have going on in their brain. He is merely jogging through his own neighborhood. Well, this happened in February and these two were just convicted of murder this week, over two months later. Well, it turns out Gregory McMichael, a former county police officer, had been a longtime investigator for the office of the first prosecutor that had to recuse herself. The second prosecutor finds no reason to charge and then recuses himself. He says there was insufficient cause to arrest Mr. Aubrey's pursuers. He urged that they acted under legally Georgia citizens' arrest and defense laws. But in order to make a citizen's arrest, you have to physically witness with your own eyes a felony. The only footage other than this man having his life taken from him was him briefly standing in an empty under construction dwelling the homeowner himself said there has never been anything taken from the house and there have been no reports filed after an outcry of the community an ex-attorney of the McMichaels he thought it would be okay and a good thing for his clients to release the footage that showed there was a wrestle back and forth with the shotgun between Mr. Aubrey and Travis McMichael. But what it did do, it didn't exonerate his clients. It catapulted the truth to the forefront. Thank God. Within three days of the video being released, Georgia Bureau of Investigation filed charges of first-degree murder. The remainder of the investigation, they hit that pavement hard yesterday, uh, doing neighborhood canvases, talking to other individuals who had already been spoken to, some individuals who had not. And then uh, after the course of that investigation yesterday, about 5 p.m., we had a command staff level conference call with the boots on the ground agents here in Glenn County and we were advised at the command staff uh, conference call that they had established and uh, the facts had established sufficient probable cause to seek arrest warrants against both Greg and Travis McMichael for felony murder and aggravated assault. Uh, that was certainly uh, agreed to by the command staff individuals including all the way up to and including myself. Those agents then immediately yesterday evening sometime around the six o'clock hour or so began securing the warrants uh, through the assistance of a Superior Court judge 
in the Glen County area. Uh, those warrants were secured. They went, went, uh, came back to their command center staff and began putting together a plan of operation to effectuate the arrest. At about 7.45, that was in fact done yesterday evening without any incident. No one was hurt, uh, neither the defendants nor any of the agents. And so that was done properly and safely, and we're very thankful of that. Those individuals were then turned over to the Glenn County Sheriff's Department and have been placed in custody at that particular jail. So that's where we're at today. So for me, it doesn't matter that this man was seen on camera at this dwelling. It doesn't matter if he had a criminal history. None of it matters. He could have backed a truck up to that empty property and been stealing everything. It does not warrant his life being taken. He was an unarmed man. It is not a coincidence to me that Mr. McMichael, Gregory McMichael, used to work as a police officer and in the DA's office. This is exactly why they did not press charges. As a matter of fact, the initial officers wanted to press charges. Jackie Johnson says no and then recuses herself because she had to recuse herself. Another thing is, of course, this can be a race issue. It may be a race issue. I'm sure they racially profiled this man. But on a different scale, it's about the system. It's about our government, our people in power. Some of them, it's a good old boy system. One hand shakes the other hand. And seriously, this is like an accidental murder charges. The only reason charges were filed was because of the outcry from the community and the video was released. The proof is in the facts. This is the, what, fourth prosecutor? Three recused? The first and second prosecutor? Oh my goodness, like... It's very obvious, very obvious what was going on. For me, it is obvious, and this is all my opinion. But facts and evidence matters. And I do believe there is enough fact and enough evidence that these two men will be convicted. I pray they are convicted. This was so senseless. They called police. They should have waited on police. They see the man they then go to their home and get weapons. How do you bring a weapon to a fist fight? This was an unarmed man. Mr. Aubrey's mother says he was happy-go-lucky and athletic and loved people. This is just a real tragedy. It's almost like I couldn't believe my eyes when I watched the footage. I pray that our justice system in our discovery process and everything else that goes along with it, I pray that these men are held to the highest teeth of the law. The only report in that neighborhood of something being stolen was Travis McMichael's gun out of his unlocked car. None of this makes sense. They probably did see him at this dwelling. That does not mean they take him out, run him down the street, and then shoot him. Of course a fight ensued. Hey, I'm about to steal a tour. Okay. Out here. There's a guy in the house right now. Is that house under construction? Okay, do you, do you have your address or the other, that house's address? Uh, Right at uh, 219 or 220, Cecilia Drive. And you said someone's breaking into yeah. it right now? No, it's, it's all open. It's under construction. And he's running right now. There he goes right now. Okay, what is he doing? He's running down the street. Call for you. Right. 
Okay. Okay, that's fine. I'll get them out there. I just need to know what he was doing wrong. Was he just on the premises and not supposed to be? And he's been caught on the camera a bunch before at night. It's kind of an ongoing thing out here. The man is building the house. He's got heart issues. I think he's not going to finish it. So. Okay, that's fine. And you said it was a male in a black T-shirt. A white T-shirt. Black guy, white T-shirt. And he's he's done back run, done run back to the neighborhood. Okay, and my front yard. And what was your name, sir? Okay, and your phone number. Okay, I'll go ahead and put it in and have somebody come out there and check it out, okay? Thanks. Thank you.